To connect your Shopify data to Google Sheets, we will need to first install a Google Sheets add-on that you can find in the description of this video. There, click on Install, Continue, and connect the same Google account that you use for Google Sheets. Now, grant permissions to Portal Metrics by clicking on Allow. Finally, click on Next, Done, and we have installed this Google Sheets add-on. To find it, open a new Google Sheets document and click on Extensions. And here you will find this Google Sheets add-on. Now click on Launch, and with this extension, now we can import our marketing and e-commerce data automatically Google Sheets. For this exercise, we can install Facebook ads, TikTok ads, Hubs, or whatever, but we will do it with Shopify data. So click on the Shopify integration, and the next step is connecting and giving authorization to Portal Metrics to access our Shopify store data. To connect your Shopify data to Portal Metrics, we'll need two things, the store name and the token or API key. First, I will look for the shop or store name. To do it, go to your Shopify account and click on the drop-down menu that you will find in the top left corner of your Shopify account. Here, I will see all the accounts or the Shopify stores I have access to. The subdomain of my Shopify account is the name that I am looking for. So here, my store is called Porter Awesome Store, but the URL is porterawesomestore.myshopify.com. The subdomain is the text that says Porter Awesome Store. So I will copy that text and I will paste it right here. Now I will look for the token. To find it, I will go to my Shopify account, click on apps, apps and sales channel settings, and then click on develop apps. Here, click on create an app. And I will give a name to this app, for instance, Power Metrics, and the app developer can be you. It is not relevant uh, to put a specific name. Here, click on create app, and now I will set the permissions I will give to this app to access my Shopify data. So click on API credentials and click on configure admin API scopes. And here we will need three permissions. So grant permissions to Porter. The first permission that we will need is read customers, then read orders, and finally read products. These are the three permissions that we need to connect our Shopify data to get our marketing reports. Read customers, read orders, and read products. With this, the final step is clicking on save and click on overview. And on overview, click on install app. And here, click on install, accept, and reveal your token once. This is the token that we will copy and we will paste here. And with that, we are done and we have the permissions we need to connect our Shopify store. Once we have connected our Shopify data to Power Metrics, it is time to create our report. And I will call it e-commerce performance. And this step is important because we will save this query and later we will set automatic data refreshes. Here, I will choose the Google account that I have associated to my Shopify store. And here, I will choose the Shopify store that I have connected. This step is important because I have just connected a single store, but with Porter, you could actually connect multiple stores data in a single report and consolidate the overall sales data. This is a great use case, for instance, for agencies to see the overall performance of all their clients and also for e-commerce with multiple brands with multiple stores to consolidate all their data in a single Google Sheets report. This use case is beautiful because otherwise you need engineers to do this or a lot of copy pasting. Then I will choose a date range and I will choose a last week, but I could set any date range available for my Shopify data. And here I will choose the data I want to export right here. So I have metrics and dimensions. Metrics are numbers or values. For Shopify data, think of gross sales, net sales, orders, and total sales. And dimensions are the way I break down my data. So I can break down my total sales by acquisition source, by customer email, by product, or even by date. For this query, uh, the data I want to report is, hey, I want the total sales and the total orders broken down by creation date of this order, customer email, and acquisition source. So I will create the report and we have imported Shopify data to Google Sheets. But this data is raw. It is hard to read. It is useful, but it's not easy to analyze. I will show you how to make it useful and analyze your Shopify data. So I will show you three things. Pivot tables, conditional formatting, and charts. Here, I will select uh, all the cells. And then I will go to insert, pivot table, new sheet, and create. If you are not familiar with pivot tables, they are a beautiful way to sort, aggregate, and organize our raw data. So I want to say, hey, in the rounds of this pivot table, 
I want my UTM source. So I am breaking down my data by acquisition source, but I need a value, a number here. So I will choose total sales. This report is showing me my total sales broken down by acquisition source. So I can answer the question where my sales come from. Uh, and this is beautiful because I, need, I didn't need to create another report to get this data. I could take the raw data and now I can aggregate it right here with pivot tables. But I want to change the dimension. So instead of the rows being UTM source, I want to do it with customer email. Now I am seeing my best performing customers, the ones that drive me the most revenue. But instead now of total sales, I want to do it with total orders. Here, I want to see where I can see what customers are purchasing the most. And in the last week, I have some customers that have purchased four times. This is interesting. What is next? I want to highlight this better for my audience or clients. So I will go to format and on format, conditional formatting. And here I will set a rule. If I have more than four or three purchases per week, then highlight my data. And here with this report, I can see my best or my top customers. Now I will go back to my raw data and I will click on insert once I select all the raw data again and click on chart. And here you can see that we can visualize our Shopify data and Google Sheets. Now I will show you other ways to connect your Shopify data to Google Sheets and other ways to analyze it.